versus Trollster. Y'all almost got the same shit on too. Y'all should change it up. BVB, what's up, man? Same old, same old. Yeah. He's doing he's doing pretty good. We're gonna pretty much he's pretty much in. We're gonna send him an invite here in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna send it right after this match. I'll send it to you. Yeah, they're one of you wanting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've done that before, and they get pissed off at me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna watch Kid Valor, who claims to be the world's number one sniper. I was just kidding about that. I don't know, dude. I mean, I heard you say it, so we're gonna watch. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out. I can't use any of these goddamn sniper gun rifles. <laughs> Shit, dude. I need all the bullets I can get, man. Dude, look at the recoil on that thing, dude. That's just ridiculous. Oh, he's double dosing you with the sniper rifles. Oh, uh, everyone, pretty much everyone on the team has had that problem at some point. You were saying yesterday there, or whatever, that you can blow on it on the on that part and it'll it'll work. No way. That's a good a good uh, tip though for people that don't want to buy another controller. Cheap ass motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, probably it's like some rubber piece or something that gets kind of out of place, and you if you mash them enough, I guess it pops back into place. I don't know. Strange. Dude, I, I've had this controller since launch day. I've had one. I have not had one issue with it at all. But we've got dudes that have only had their their PlayStation since Christmas and have already had to get a new controller. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the players, man. They're mashing on them buttons too hard. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, they're throwing that shit up against the wall. Fuck this game. Yeah, that's what probably broke okay. your shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I got my, yeah. I have my PlayStation 3 controller next to me, so when I fucking get mad, I'll just throw that one and not, that, not mess up my good one. <laughs> yeah, I try not to, I try not to throw mine. Cosmo's back. What's up, bro? So they're waiting while they were waiting on a couple of the guys to join back. They got one more of this last one, and then we're gonna we'll do some kind of team matchup. I'm trying to see. Scopin wants to do search and destroy. Are you, are you down for that? I hate search, by the way. So, so all right. So y'all like what game was y'all like? You like up? One of y'all said y'all liked Uplink, and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying, bro. I yeah. <laughs> Up, I mean, Uplink's fun. Most of our guys like to play Uplink. But we could also do Hardpoint or Dom. Those are more team based, really. You know, either way. Anyway, I mean, so. I don't. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Surge. I mean, only the really excellent players like Surge. I'm, I'm not really very good at it. Yeah, I get annoyed too, and I, what I don't like is because I'm, you know, the team will be doing well, and then 
inevitably I'm the last motherfucker left and there's, I got to take out, you know, somebody and they're depending on me to save the day and it's like, dude, we're already lost. If I, if I'm the last one alive, we're we already we just, we're screwed. So, you know, I get nervous cuz I'm like, dude, I, you're depending on me to save the day, dude. Why'd you do that to me? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. Um, but we're going to play a uh, like a 4v4 or something here in a minute. So BBB, Man, you want you want in, don't you? All right. What's up? Hold on, I think Narks. I mean, uh, New Screen. Was that you asking me something? What? What'd you say, New Screen? I can't hardly hear you too good. Oh, wasn't you? Somebody, somebody called me. Called me. Oh well. Need an ice cream right now. Seven to three, dude. Y'all need to speed this shit along. The number one sniper in the world. Kid Valor claims to be the everybody on Twitch and on YouTube. Kid Valor claims to be the number one sniper in the history of Call of Duty. So we're 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 seeing him in action. <laughs> oh, Cosmo spawned in. That's funny. <laughs> He's hiding in the corner though. He's he's trying to stay out of the way. Oh, counter sniped. Yeah, that was a good shot. So, um the clan wars, by the way, back to the clan wars shit. The the our clan wars are every usually every other week, every two weeks, basically. So we just had one. It's lagging like a bitch now. We had, um, we just had a clan war f this past weekend, so we won't have one this weekend. It'll be with next weekend. So, Cosmo, you should send, yeah, BVB, you've been out, but you've been traveling. You've been, like, in Europe and shit, so you've been out moving around. So, um, Cosmo, you might want to send me a friend request, um, at some point if you, you know, if you want to. Party up and shit. <clears throat> Dallas, Oak Stop Cliff. Eating ice cream, leave me alone. Nah, dude, I have a full time job. Nah, I got a wife, kids, full time job, and a small business on the side, bro. I stay busy. We just do this for fun. Some clans do. Some clans do charge money, you know, and they, they, you know, have application fees and all kinds of shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what? I know you, you, yeah, dude. I mean, there's people that do this shit for real. But like you were saying, you know, do they do drug tests? You know, what's funny is I heard the esports uh, there's like an esports community, which is really what the the makers of the game they're pushing hard for the esports shit. So they are testing for PEDs for fucking gamers. I can't believe that shit. Yeah, that, they're taking it. That's how serious the esports shit is. Yeah. Wow. Nah. Now some of these pro dudes are straight up beasts, man. You know. Yeah, they do this 24/7. Yeah, but that ain't us. I mean, we do have we do have a, a smaller group of guys that want. Don't kill me or don't give out my spot. All right, hey, look, he's hiding over here in the corner. <laughs> now, but some we have we have a small group of guys on the team that are you know, a little younger that are competitive. They're they're trying to figure you know work their way into maybe being MLG style players, but. It's a smaller group. Most of us are, are, are casual, you know, casual players. Uh, we'd like to just don't. The most competitive we get is usually doing the clan wars. You know, other than that, we like to fuck around and have fun. Yeah, I'm not good enough, so that's true. I mean, that is true. Oh uh, yeah, it's like anything else in life, bro. You, nah, dude. They had, 
Nah, they had a tournament this, I guess it was this past weekend, and, uh, they, they, there was um a, a tournament this past week. I think someone someone won. They won a team won three million dollars, and one of the guys on the team was only like fourteen or sixteen or something, you know. So them them dudes are making bread, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. N n nah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's like now nah, I'm, I'm gonna sell this shit back. <laughs> That's just how it is, man. And that, you know, it's the same thing in real life with sports, too. Any kind of sport. Everyone always thinks, oh, I could do that shit. I could do that shit. Yeah. And then you see somebody in real life. I'll tell y'all the true story. So, I was a, I'm a baseball player. Uh, I played baseball most of my life. You know, I'm old now. I don't play. But when I was growing up, I mean, I played. What the fuck? Who did you shoot, dude? That was, I call bullshit on that. I call bullshit on that. So, I played, you know, pretty competitive baseball. I was a good player. So, I'm 13 or 14, and I'm playing in this men's league, and there's two former major leaguers that were ended up being on our team. Now, these two guys were, I'm from Texas, so they were Texas Ranger players, so I'm a Texas Rangers fan. So, I knew exactly who they were. They were at one time supposed to be these great prospects. They were supposed to be bad motherfuckers. So they ended up on our team. They they were I remember hating them as a fan because they were trash. They were they were terrible in the major leagues. And so we ended up I ended up being on this team where two of these players were on our team and they were fucking amazing at the game, dude. They they could throw the ball harder than you could probably imagine that somebody could throw it from where they were at positioned on the field. So it's just the level of their play they were hitting bombs like left and right, dude. They were making it look easy as fuck. But when they played at the major league level, they were scrubs, you know. So it's just how good how good that level is to that on that pro level is just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's different tiers, like. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen high school studs that go into college and are garbage or, you know, and then you're great in college and you can't play at the pro. That was me. I was great in college, but I couldn't play. I wasn't quite good enough to be pro, you know. But um, these dudes were unbelievably good, man. And I was like, damn, how how good do you have to be to be like an A-Rod or, you know, a, a, you know, one of these superstar players? Like, these guys were garbage, it's beyond that. It's not even a. There's not even a term for it, dude. These guys are so good. They're literally. They are literally one of the best players in the entire world. You know, and you're talking about millions and millions of people, and they're one of the best few hundred people in the entire world. That's crazy. You know. So we got a whole team of dudes. We're gonna have to go to game chat. So um, if you guys don't know how to 